grid. They've basically got to train every hour. Um, and it's about the cost of driving, right? So that little town now, I'll bet you if we go back there, that line's not been open a year, I'll bet you if we go back there next year, that town will be very different than it is today. Much more vibrant, much more attractive place to live because they're connected now both to Barcelona and to Madrid with a quick high-speed line. Um, it was interesting, one of the times that I went to ride this line, I flew over with uh, an engineer from GM, and the GM engineer was going to their plant in Zaragoza, and how did he get there? By high-speed train. Um, to get to O'Hare, he had to drive. The other end is much more productive and less expensive because they had high-speed rail. So we're not going to show the video, we're not going to show the standard production, but I'm going to tell you a couple of stories off the cuff that I think you might find interesting. Um, there was a number of years ago, I went to a local club that does, they, they talk about politics. They invite the elected officials in. It's you know, purely a political club. And there was this guy, I didn't know who he was, I just go to this club on a regular basis. Um, he was a state senator from Chicago. And he gave a wonderful, rousing speech. And he hadn't yet declared what he was going to run for yet, but he knew he was running for something other than the state senator, right? And at the end of that speech, he said something to me. He said this to the crowd. Now, what I want you to do right now is reach into your wallet. And I want you to take out your checkbook. And I want you to write me a check, right? And I actually was going to write that guy a check, except for the fact that I didn't have my checkbook. He then won the, and during that speech, and this is why that's important, during, during that speech, speech, he so captivated me, I was willing to write the check, but during the speech he talked about the need for high speed rail, right? And that was State Senator Obama at the time. Um, he then went on, and during his campaign for State Senator, he talked about high speed rail and how we needed high speed rail. And Congressman Obama, uh, Emmanuel, I frequently heard him talk about high speed rail. Um, and so I was very excited to see that, that the senator um, was running for president because that was going to make a huge difference in our lives. Um, so, you know, we can't get involved in political campaigns except we can get involved in a referendum. And there was another very important vote that month or that day. Um, and that vote was the vote for high speed rail in California. And we did a two month campaign. Um, purely by email called Tell Your California Friend to Vote Yes for High Speed Rail. We generated thousands of emails through our campaign and then a local um, California group then copied our campaign um, and said tell Kevin Bacon to tell somebody to vote for High Speed Rail. <laughs> and it seems small, it was very fun, it seems insignificant. You know, we generated thousands of emails to our friends in California, right? But that vote won on a margin. And I'm convinced that our Tell Your California Friend campaign made the margin so that that passed. And so now we have a legitimate, true high-speed rail project in the U.S. that will move forward because of a lot of grassroots activism. Now, going from that step forward, you know, the, the, uh, they started talking about a stimulus package. Um, and that stimulus package didn't include a whole lot for passenger trains. And that was very disappointing to us because we knew that these top leaders wanted high speed rail. Why weren't they putting high speed rail in the stimulus? So we decided to do a campaign focused on President Obama. And again, it was an email based campaign. Um, and it didn't generate as many as the California thing did. But it started the process going. So the people started saying, we, we were saying $5 billion. We should have $5 billion for ISP Rail, right? That completely changed the way people thought about this. Um, and, you know, there's reason to believe that they actually had planned this for some time. Um, it's entirely possible that, again, we provided the margin, or perhaps if they had some doubt. Um, about their strategy, it allowed them to go forward with it, but certainly we made an impact there. So there's one thing I want you to do, and it's very similar to what the council woman was saying. Um, if you go to our website, again, midwesthsr.org, um, on that site, in addition to the wonderful slides about uh, our trip to Spain, and you can see what true high speed rail is, 
Up at the top, there's a thing, send Senator, or President Obama a thank 